Are you like me, constantly checking the McRib tracker, waiting for McDonald's to bring that gosh darn sandwich back? Well, let me tell you, we about to make something 10 times better. This is the ultimate barbecue rib sandwich. I'm talking baby bok ribs, not no baby bat, baby bok ribs, caramelized onions, thick cut bacon. Come on now. Do you guys see what I'm seeing right now? This is Whip It Up With Jay. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to show you how to make this bad boy. Let's go. All right, to start off, we're going to need our dry seasoning. We're going to be using two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. That smoked paprika is gonna give it that, that extra oomph, that extra oomph, if you know what I'm talking about. And we're just gonna mix all this seasoning together, get it nice and mixed up and combined, ready to massage that into our baby bok ribs, you hear me? All right, so I got my rack of baby bok ribs <laughs> and we're gonna sit them down on my old trusty wooden massage table and we're gonna take these good old seasonings and we about to show these ribs some love, you hear me? We about to take this seasoning and we're gonna just massage it in to these, to these ribs and let them just soak in the flavor, you hear me? And uh, we're gonna just well, really, really well coat these ribs, have them well seasoned, so we can have them nice and flavorful. All Now, if your ribs ain't looking like these ribs, you done did something wrong. You did not follow my instructions. You need to start over. Your ribs need to look like this, well seasoned, well coated. Well coated, okay? And now, we're gonna take our beautiful, well seasoned ribs, and we're gonna load them in to this slow cooker and this is gonna take a long time to cook guys so kind of plan ahead be ready for it we're about to cook it for about three and a half to four hours on high we want to make sure these things are fall off the bone and when our ribs are almost done we're gonna start getting our other ingredients kind of ready to go so what i did here added a little bit of olive oil to a pan at about a medium high and i'm gonna add some good old white onions and we're gonna cook these down really really good we want these things to caramelize we want these things to be a nice translucent brown color And you wanna be patient with the onions. Don't try to rush it. It takes a little bit of time to cook them. 
but as you can see we got a nice brown on these onions and what i'm gonna do is set them to the side and move on to some thick cut bacon you can use regular you know sliced bacon but you know something about that thick cut bacon i feel like you get so much more flavor out of it it's just more bacon you know what i'm saying so we're just gonna lay this bacon down you guys know how to cook bacon i mean at least i hope so we're gonna lay this bacon down and just cook it on both sides to a nice golden brown on each side look at that looks so good i mean if you don't like bacon i don't know what's wrong with you bacon just adds a entire entire level of flavor to almost anything you put it on so me i love bacon i love bacon on everything guys and it's looking so good so far all right now that our bacon is fully cooked we're gonna melt a little butter into this pan so we can brown up our buns guys nobody wants soggy buns who likes soggy buns we need those buns to be well toasted okay so when all that sauce and all that all that goodness sits on top of that bun it doesn't get all soggy and the bun kind of stays intact guys so very important step toast your buns all right so these ribs have been cooking for about three and a half to four hours in this slow cooker and they look so good and you know what's gonna make them look even better we are about to put them in a pan and we're gonna stick them in the oven on broil and we're gonna brown up that crust on the outside of it because you know with a with a slow cooker you're never gonna really get a nice brown crust on whatever you're cooking so it's always nice to take it out and stick it in the in the oven on broil just for a little bit so it could be nice and brown just like so look how nice that looks and now i'm gonna apply some barbecue sauce you can use the barbecue sauce of your choice i'm just gonna apply this barbecue sauce and once we do that we're gonna stick it back in the oven once more so we could brown up the barbecue sauce a little bit as well now you cannot tell me that does not look good look at that thing Oof. Oh man. Ooh, did did you see that drip? Did you see that barbecue sauce drip? <laughs> so now we're gonna kind of chop up our racks. Gonna chop up each individual rack and what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut off the meat off the bone and put it to the side for our sandwich to be assembled. All right, now we at the assembly line. Step one, ribs on bun. Look at that thing, that thing looks so good. And when I tell you guys, this is like the best sandwich ever, I mean it. It's the best sandwich 
ever. You guys have to try it. Now we're adding that bacon, that thick cut bacon full of flavor, that caramelized onion. My goodness. This sandwich is everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. It is so good. There's so much flavor going on. You got, you got, I mean, baby back ribs, bacon, caramelized onion. You got that smoked paprika kicking in the background. This sandwich is amazing. Please try it. You have to try it. It is so good. I really appreciate all you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, hit that notification bell. Join the notification gang. It's your boy. Whip it up with Jay. I really appreciate you guys for watching. I'm out, guys.